Hey there, I'm Captain Shiba, and today we're going to be playing uh, RimWorld. If you don't know what RimWorld is, it is a top-down colony management uh, survival simulator. Um, story generator, even, if you will. And usually, when you start RimWorld, the entire point is to start with one of these, um, one of these scenarios, right? The default here is crash-landed. Um, and usually, your goal is to grow, expand your colony by, you know, recruiting others, kidnapping the enemy, enslaving people, or uh, convincing prisoners to join you. Um, all of these things, right? You're, you're supposed to expand and to grow communities uh, and strengthen yourself. But I feel like in this RimWorld challenge, something that I haven't really seen uh, much done of would be a challenge where you don't do that. Where these three people who crash land with are the only people that your colony ever sees. You don't get to recruit anyone else. You don't get to enslave anybody else. You don't get to birth anybody else. Nothing. It's just you three. And if someone dies, then that's it. Um, so I figured, you know what? I'll make a series of it. Uh, we will be playing on the... Um, community builder difficulty, just so that this is uh, a more relaxed, eh, okay, not relaxed, Le it's easier to maintain so that I can create an actual series out of this, and um, reload any time mode just in case something stupid happens and I want to, you know, change that a little bit just, again, for content's sake, uh, make it a good story, right? Of course, they won't live forever, none of them will, but we don't want it ending on day one. Uh, we're gonna make the seed trio, of course, and you know what? 30% globe coverage. It has a three in it. It works. <laughs> now, keep in mind that this save is heavily, heavily modded. As you can see, all of my mods here, um, that's every single one of them. Uh, it will not be modded further. The mods in this save are staying the mods in this save. However, um, it's definitely not vanilla. After hitting select random site a few times, uh, right up here on this nice little uh, temperate forest zone right here, it doesn't look too bad. Is there any, um, there we go. Let's see, average temperature is good. We won't have to deal with a lot of heat or too, too much cold. The amount of rainfall, if you don't like that, there's very, yeah, perfect. So while I do have the ideology DLC, we will not be using it uh, for this save. It will be inactive. Now we will be playing with only the three colonists ever, and we have to take that into consideration that we need very specific stats so that while we aren't missing on anything, we are also really specializing in the things that will, you know, keep us happy long term. So we need a lot of skills, but we also, you know limited to three colonists, so we have to prioritize. Um, like, social, artistic, we can do without those a lot better than we can do without plants and animals. And first, I think we need a farmer, and um, Andrea Mills here might be our best option for that. She's not really good in a whole lot else, but nine plants and ten animals, that's difficult to pass up. So we're gonna, we're gonna put her on the board just for now and if we find someone better then we find someone better Ooh, now this is not who i was looking for in the moment but eight medical eight social ten medical, that could be risa here could be a really good colonist yeah we'll leave risa yeah we'll leave risa and mills now witch here could be a good colonist uh, Night Owl concerns me a little bit. Just a little bit. Because um, I've had some colonists who, you know, no matter what you set your schedule to, it doesn't really make them happy for whatever reason. They always wake up during the day anyways, and it's just difficult to deal with. But she does cover a lot of the bases that we were lacking in otherwise, so... Also, age is a little bit of a concern, just a tiny bit, but as long as we get the right technology soon enough, we can make that pretty much irrelevant, so yeah.
So our first course of action is just going to be to pause the game uh, and scout around. So, um, there's some caves we could hide out in. We might want to renovate that building, uh, or this building, one of these buildings. We might want to renovate one of these buildings just to give ourselves some shelter real quick. Uh, or we could dig into a cave. Let's see what our... generally have better construction than we have mining, so I guess we should, um, yeah, we will make this building our temporary home, we'll, you know, fill in these walls here, and make this, uh, somewhat livable atmosphere. We're going to deconstruct all of these, uh, interior walls, and, um, most of the furniture except for tables and urns, because, uh, we can use those for decoration and for utility, uh, without having to make them ourselves. So we're going to keep those, but destroy all of these other blockades, and then we're, of course, going to, uh, put floor down where floor is needed. And real quick, I'm going to cut this out because it's going to take a minute, but real quick, I am going to set their um, schedule and their priorities list so that everyone has the right job and everyone's doing what they're supposed to be doing. Oh, crap, I just remembered something. I set the wrong storyteller. So if I go in here, because I can change the storyteller, I believe. Um, yes, right here. Modify. So... Uh, one of my modded um, storytellers, if I can find him, right here. So, Alfred Ancient creates story events on a steadily increasing curve of threat and reward. He forces you into a low population colony to help build up the characters, but rewards you with no skill loss. This guy, I am so stupid for not remembering that he is, like, the key to this actually working out. Because, um, I mean, A, keeps us to a low population, that is supposed to happen anyways, right? But also rewards us with no skill loss. And while it's kinda kinda cheating a little bit, maybe, uh, I feel like that works perfect for this playthrough. Especially considering that we can't replace those skills in any other way, really. Uh, not efficiently, at least. So I feel I feel like this is appropriate. So it's gonna change him. Now because we have the um, you know, the sword teller who will, um, you know, make sure that we lose no skill whatsoever. Uh, I am going to have, even though they're bad at these things, that's the red, I am going to have them do them just at a really low priority so that over time they can build up those skills anyways and it won't be so big of a problem. That way if we lose someone, we don't necessarily have to lose those skills uh, forever at least. Now we're going to set a sleep schedule, but I believe it's Bauer who um, will not fit into that schedule. So um, we're gonna have to give her a separate schedule between the hours of 11 to 18, gotcha. Now, do note, I, as I said earlier, I have had some night owl colonists who just completely ignore the schedule and do what they want anyways, and then turn them out to have a ton of mood debuffs, so we're just gonna see how that works out. But before they start anything else, I should actually have them equip gear. So, you have a uh, big, big, big passion uh, for um, shooting, so we'll give you the revolver so you can learn. You have our highest shooting and a really big passion, so we'll give you the bolt action. Uh, we'll just get the knife. And you, since you'll have the revolver, you'll get the flak armor, since you'll be the closest and usually the one getting shot at. You, you have a knife, so we're gonna try and avoid sending you at anybody yet. Uh, and then we will set our stockpile zone. Just, for, just right here for now. I know it's not the best place, but it'll just go there for now, and so will our dumping stockpile right here, just that we have somewhere. So we're going to set a, a couple growing zones. We're going to have one right here, one right here, one right here, and one right here. Now, these are small, but there's only three people, so right now, not really something that I'm worried about having huge, big farms. Um, we'll have potatoes, rice, and corn. Corn takes the longest, is, is the longer growing of the three, um, but has 
more uh, crop, rice, less crop, but grows really fast. Potatoes at nice middle ground. And then we will have a uh, heel root in our other one. And there's these spaces between them so that when blight spreads, it doesn't, uh, you know, infect everything. It'll only infect one plot. While they do that, we are going to have to build a couple beds. Um, we're going to have to build the beds in different uh, sections of the building, just so that um, they disturb each other's sleep a little less. Or, no, we won't actually, no. Because this way... The dresser's like that, and it'll affect both of those. Yeah. Now, this might be our better bet, honestly. Because they're going to be disturbing each other's sleep anyways, more than likely. So, this is a little a little more efficient just as far as you know, comfort and decor goes. So now while the other two sleep, uh, Bauer is actually getting things done so they'll wake up to a, uh, a little less of a uh, crappy situation just by a small margin. Bauer's actually really doing a lot. Bauer's working on the beds, which is arguably one of the most important things to be working here because uh, if they're just continuously sleeping on the ground then they're all going to be angry and they're going to have mood breaks. Good job, Bauer. Now, I am going to have them build some furniture, of course. Uh, some production furniture, more specifically. We will have the kitchen over there, and we'll have the butcher table. Oh, we don't have any wood. There we go. Uh, we'll have the butcher table on the other side of the building so that they aren't making each other filthy and getting food poisoning all the time. Uh, stone cutter will go right there. Hand tailor bench will go right here. Arch bench will go right here. No. Yes. Go right there. And, um... Anything else I need to worry about right now? No. Chairs. I need to worry about chairs. There we go. Now they have seats and they can do their job right. Add some chairs to the tables, too. Uh, we'll add chairs around... Yeah. We'll do it like that. There we go. And Power is actually listening to her uh, sleep schedule, so she'll be a little less grouchy than the last times I've uh, had to deal with that. I'm gonna go ahead and increase our stockpile zone a little bit. A lot of it. Just go ahead and make it this whole space. <laughs> going to increase our stockpile zone. Just going to make it uh, all of this. <laughs> Just all of it. It's not clean right now and they're going to hate it, but um, it'll get the job done until we can uh, spend the time to make something a little prettier. Oh, silly me. I didn't make the... Uh, I didn't get more research table. Should have done that. Where is there? There it is. Okay, well, we can't, one, we can't make one right now. So we don't have wood, and I'm not spending 100 steel for one. Um, but here soon we will get one of those. I should set them to cut some trees down with a chop wood. Just go ahead and mark all that. There we go. Because we are running a little low on wood, which is why they haven't finished up these walls and all. We have none, actually, if you look up here. Set down our research table and our chair. And we will set our first research for... We'll set our first research for smithing. I feel like that's probably our, our best step in the, you know, direction of progress here. Second to that, I'm actually going to set them to deconstruct uh, these other buildings. Especially this one, because I'm pretty sure this is... No, no, it's not steel. It's marble. Still good, though. Marble's still good. You get stone from that, so... Have to destroy all of this. Um, there's actually not a lot else to. Uh, oh, who's over here? Okay, and over here. There we go. Not that. That is uh, most likely the ancient danger of the world, uh, which, if this series actually gets a kickoff, you'll uh, see what that is. And I don't know what this. I thought this would be the ancient danger. 
but this is more ancient danger shaped. Someone just got here. Um, I don't know, we'll figure it out, but if you don't know what an ancient danger is, uh, you'll soon learn, uh, probably, uh, at some point in the series, if we get to that point. But, long story short, not something you want to open. Let's check out what, uh, Yeez here has. A forced primitivist. What does that mean? Yeezeal. Okay, um, what does that backstory mean? Who are you as a person? Crash baby, so you, you yeah, as a baby, he's the only survivor of deadly spacecraft crash. Passing tribe discovered her in the wreckage. She was always part of the tribes. After getting, what? After getting exiled from her local Outlander unit due to ruining an entire crop harvest, Yeez had to live out in the open for years, selling crude tools to aid her. She made her a jack of all trades, but completely broke her trust of people. Wow. <laughs> but she was also picked up by, by a tribe. So, so this implies that she's part of a tribe. That tribe figured out, um, industrialization, and sh she sabotaged them. And then got kicked out and is now part of a tribe again. Uh, maybe you kind of deserve that. Do you have anything that we might want, though? Um, not really, to be honest. And we don't have much to sell either, so... Nah. Well, maybe the pemmican, actually. Who's our, uh, you, Mills? Yeah, go wait for her to come over here and then buy some pemmican. Okay, go ahead and buy that now. Pemmican, how much? Yep, you can afford that. Easy peasy. Boom. And the reason we get that is because that spoils in a year, right? So. Definitely a good thing to have on hand because food's going to get scarce eventually, I'm, I'm sure. Every colony I run eventually has one issue where I thought food was doing good when it wasn't, and then a couple months down the line, we just immediately start starving to death out of nowhere. So I'm going to be on top of that this time and uh, pay more attention. Well, hold on. Who's part... Who is Antria part of? What group are you part of? Bozo. <laughs> Bozo. Um, control. These are tribal people. What do you have? You have our money. You have drugs. And a little more pemmican that you didn't sell us. As much as I want to kill Yeez, we're not going to kill Yeez because he doesn't really have that much. It's not worth the effort, honestly. And she gave us a gift of, um, what did you give us? You gave us Chitin? Heck yeah. Dude, that's amazing. Just gave us, just gave us seven slabs of Chitin. Okay, but maybe it's good that we didn't kill her because she definitely didn't, wouldn't have had that on her corpse for some reason. She just manifested it from the aether. Okay, now that they have a bit more of a living space and, um, you know, food going and all that, I actually am going to work on making more designated, uh, buildings and such. Rather than just having everyone live in this one giant hut, basically. Started making rooms. Now there's only the three of them, so I can be as outlandish with these rooms as I want. I don't have to make this some weird barracks style thing. There's only the three of them, so they're going to live a life of luxury. So we're gonna give them eight by eight. Ooh, mad hair. Uh oh. Oh, that reminds me. I need to set their um, default to attack. Because if it's just flee, then they'll try and run away while the hair's like biting their ankles, and they'll they'll just die. Uh, they'll they'll legitimately die to a hare, to a rabbit. There we go. Okay. Have fun with your lives after that, I guess. Yeah, that happens a lot. The whole, like, mad animal thing happens, honestly, way too much in this game. Anyways, we'll give them some eat by eat rooms, I guess. Uh, now, I don't like building out of wood, because, yeah, wood's flammable, and if everything's close to each other, it'll just burn down. Uh, but I'm gonna do it for now. I'm gonna make some permanent or some temporary installations here. Um, before we, because I always I always do a thing where I build like a 
a small functional temporary base, and then while they're living in that, they'll work on the big ultra mega permanent base. Um, so we'll um, just for now have some temporary bedrooms. We'll put them over here, and they're going to be made out of wood, and they're going to be way too close together, and it's going to be a death trap. Um, but it um, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Nothing to worry about. Nothing will ever go wrong. Uh, nobody's gonna burn to death in their sleep. Uh, it will be just fine. I, I assure you. Nothing could possibly go wrong here, uh, with this design. And if it does go wrong here with this design, um, well, we'll know in a few episodes. <laughs> Oh, um, what should we name this place? I forgot that they asked you that at, like, day three. Um, does this hit randomized a few times? Do it happens. Okay, so, the randomized ones kind of suck. <laughs> I have found out after a little bit of hitting randomized for a couple minutes. Um, so we're going to name our faction... Um, um, we can rename this at any time, by the way. So for now, we're just going to call it 3-3. Three, 3-3. Three. Three, three. Um, if we think of a better name down the line, someone give some input, or I'll think of something, and we will rename it from that, because we can do that. I have a mod that lets us rename this place. Um, it's not so horrible, you know? It won't be 3-3. Three, three. What? Uh-oh. Yeah, see, that's why I have the separation. Because now this entire crop will be blighted. It'll just be uh, our potato crop for the year. Well, not for the year, but for the potato plant life cycle. <laughs> okay, now everyone is assigned to those double beds, and I can actually deconstruct these lame barracks-type things. Because we actually have bedrooms now some light in there for them. So, I mean, and they like sleeping with the lights on all the time. <laughs> there we go, perfect. Happily ever after. And let's clear the rubble out of uh, your bedroom. Thank you, Bauer. You're very helpful. Okay, now that living quarters are pretty much done for now, um, I would like to make this a big ol' storage room. That's what I want to make this, which means that we have to make a different room for, um, for eating and, um, for production. So we will make our production room here. Make that a little more separate. We'll make it, let's see, because this is the wall, and then it's a desk space, desk space. Space. Let's do like this, and uh, we'll make it. You know, gotta do it by threes, generally. So we'll make it. Well, no, because they won't even need that much space, really. Because there's only the three of them. So we'll just make it 12, and then. Uh, yeah, we'll call that a day. For larger scale operations, wouldn't really be enough. But for this, don't really need anything more. For our kitchen, we're actually gonna, because we do need a kitchen. We do need a kitchen. We're gonna build that. Attach heat, heat wave. Uh-oh. That might mess things up, but it'll be alright. Um, for our kitchen, we're gonna build that, like, this. And we're going to have butcher. Oh, we're getting a raid? Okay, let me finish this, and then we'll, um, we'll get to the raid. Just FYI, real quick, these are way too close together. Someone's probably gonna get food poisoning, but until that happens, I'm gonna assume that maybe it's fine and we're just gonna live with it. Uh, okay, raid time. We're getting raided by one dude, Baffin. An abandoned 13 year old. Uh oh, that's. Um. Okay, so we're gonna have to kill an, an orphaned child. 
already. <laughs> we're on like day four, we're already murdering orphaned children. Um, that'll be nice. There's some food over here we can carry back. We should probably do that. All right, open, fi open fire on the abandoned child then. There we go. Yay. Hope y'all hope y'all feel good about what you did. Hope, hope y'all feel good about what just happened. Uh, because you shouldn't. You should feel horrible about it. But uh, yeah, let's let's all have to back then. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, that's horrible. Oh, he's still he's still he's still alive. I kind of feel bad about that. Mind shattering pain. Yeah. Um, how long, how long, five hours, where's, Bauer, come here, come here, let's, yeah, um, um, okay, well, you don't, I hit the wrong button, I didn't want you to beat him to death, I didn't want you to beat him to death, please, just, please, just, put him out of his misery. Thank you. Thank you, Bauer. Appreciate you. Okay, moving on. Let's make a, um, what do we need? Well, I should have, no, I should put the kitchen closer to the storage. No. No, I shouldn't. Maybe I should. Nah, we're gonna make food storage separate, so I don't have to. Yeah. Animatrice died and emitted a disturbing psychic surge. Oh, one of those. Sh uh oh. So, one of those trees was an anima tree, which is basically like a psychic plant. Whoops. It'll be fine. It's only a small mood buff for five days. Who cares? As long as, is anyone here psych sensitive? Chemical fascination. Ooh. Psychically dull. See, you don't even care about it. Yeah. You care about it? Well, I mean, a little bit. Less than everyone else does, so they'll be fine. This is... Ab this is an absolutely brutal dining room. Uh, it'll be fine. <laughs> it'll be okay shelves for our food room and I'll make some shelves in here too er, nah now nah, we won't show this area until it's like way too packed and cramped because there's a lot of space in here so it's not something I'm really gonna worry about oh good trader ooh what do y'all have Turkey, trout, catfish. I have a lot of fish. If only I had refrigerators up. Oh, I can get the jerky. I can get the jerky. That's that'll preserve. Uh, Mills is our uh, yeah. Mob man wanders in. Ben. All right, but uh, don't interfere with anything, or else you'll get shot. Not no. Mills, come here. We're gonna go trade. We're gonna spend all of our silver on that jerky. Because money's not important if we starve to death. Perfect. Uh, well, not perfect. Do we have anything we can sell in return for that, actually? Because I would like, um, just buy all of it. Without selling our food already. Uh, we have, we, oh, dude, we still have plenty of our own medicine. Let's sell some heal root. Yeah. Boom. Perfect. Get that inside. Oh no, you don't even have to get it outside actually. Just leave it there. Yeah. Leave it on the ground, whatever. It works. You we're gonna eat that cat, by the way. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now what we do is we can 
select all of these shelves, look settings, and set their storage to uh, clear all. Nothing. Okay. Food. Any food. All food. All food. Yep. Transport might crash. Yeah, there's no sugar. But we can't save you and recruit you. Yeah, no, we'll just let you die, whatever. There's nothing we can actually do with you. Because I can't decide if prisoners should count or not yet. Because, like, as long as I don't recruit them or anything, maybe it would be fine. But in order to sell them, I think I'd have to enslave them. And slaves don't count. Slaves, slaves will count towards having extra people. In my predefined self-made rules. So... Maybe. We'll figure it out. We don't even have a, private, have a prison set up yet, though, so it doesn't really matter. We're not going to put a torch in here, because we want this to be as cold as possible, and obviously it's not going to get very cold uh, by itself without, like, AC, but, you know, um, we don't want to make that worse. Gold. Ooh, gold. That's good. No, there's gold here. I guess we can start mining. Yeah. Let's mine some. Just set a little bit of mining tasks around. And then none of the big stuff yet. Just some little stuff. So we get some uh, extra resources. Something else to do with their time, too, I guess. So that they're not too idle if I forget to do something. Ooh, quest available. Uh, Brennan Chappelle, a uh, predator of the refugee empire, is calling from nearby. Her guards were killed in an ambush. She escaped, but is now being followed by a man hunting pug. She wants you to keep her safe at three for a few hours until the shuttle can come pick her up. Yeah, actually, that works. Yeah. Because she's just going to leave again in a few hours, right? So, like, it's not going to matter. She's not going to do any work. We're just protecting her, you know? So, uh, yeah, and that's eight honor. Who do you want, who do we want our honor with the Empire to go to? I guess... Oh, Grand Zier is our best social, actually. Yeah, we'll send it to Grand Zier. He's our youngest, so he's less likely to die of old age. Um, and he has social. So, we'll accept it with Grand Zier. Oh, right. Psylink, because the honor lets the Empire bestow you with psychic powers in the Grand Zier. Psychic doll. Okay, then we'll do Mills. Yeah, we'll do Mills. There we go. Mill joins. Okay, yeah. Just for a few hours, and then we kill a pug uh, who's hunting you, apparently. Aww. And then you leave, and everything's fine. We're not going to draft her. We're not going to use her. Because, A, she wouldn't be any use anyways in a fight, obviously, if this thing's chasing her from her land. Um, but also because, you know, we people don't want to cheap ourselves out on that. Come on. You can shoot a pug. There you go. Sorry, bud. I'm sure you were a good pug. Outside of the times that you tried to murder uh, royalty. Well, yeah, no, good pug trying to murder royalty. Good pug. Change location, uh, auto load. Go. Get out of my sight. Okay. Yep, okay, boom. Oh, I guess I should have them set to make food, huh? Make that forever, butcher forever. Um, I don't want you to make anything yet. Make any stone blocks, just forever. Those are always helpful. And then, do we already have a research? Yeah, nobody's doing the research. Why aren't you doing research? Ah, that's why. Well, it's our, um, yeah, we'll do like, no, yeah. Yeah, there we go. It's, okay. They should... Yeah, there we go. Okay. Grenzier's working on it. Thanks, Grenzier. 
Who killed a goose? Did the cat kill a goose? A timber wolf killed the goose and bit off its neck. All right. <laughs> hey, Summer. And some lights in, uh, in here. So, what now? Maybe nothing. Maybe nothing, though. Hmm. Yeah, we'll pause for now. Or we'll pause this episode here, actually, because I don't know what else to do. Um, I've been recording for an hour. Exactly, almost, so it'd be perfect. Uh, and I, again, don't know what to do, so... I'll come back to this series... When I think of something to do, <laughs> this will come back when I think of something to do, and then it might be longer episode than this. I don't know how long this is going to come out to, but, um, yeah, so this was the uh, RimWorld Trio Challenge, episode one. Uh, this will continue. I'll be doing more of this, um, hopefully for a while. Hopefully this colony does not get cut short. Um, but we'll see. We'll see where it goes. Uh, and on that note, enjoyed uh if you didn't enjoy then how did you make it this far <laughs> all right uh yeah see y'all in the next episode captain shiva out